Hello my dear students, in this session I will discuss one of the most important concept in the lesson capacitor that is energy stored in capacitor. Let us derive an expression for energy stored in capacitor. You know very well capacitor is a device which is used to store electric charges or else capacitor is a device which is used to store electric energy that is electrostatic energy. So in this class let me derive an expression for electrostatic potential energy stored by the capacitor. In general we will call this as expression for expression for energy stored energy stored in capacitor expression for energy stored in capacitor as per your board examination is concerned this is one of the most frequently asked three mark question. Many times in the board examination we got uh, what this question for three marks means they will ask us to derive an expression for energy stored in capacitor. So before going for expression for the energy store, let us check what is the reason for stored energy in a capacitor. Not only in capacitor, whenever we are talking about stored energy or whenever we are talking about potential energy, that potential energy is a result of what some work done. Whenever you are going to do the work against few forces, yava yava ga keluvandu force na viruddha dikkinarli work na martiri, that amount of work done in the direction opposite to some forces is going to store in a body in the form of which energy potential energy best example gravitational potential energy is due to work done in a rising a body due to rising a body in the direction opposite to the what gravitational force work done in displacing a body in the direction opposite to the direction of the gravitational force result in gravitational potential energy stretching a spring in the direction opposite to restoring force or spring force is result in potential energy stored in the spring in the same way Whenever you are doing the work in charging any capacitor, amount of work done in charging any capacitor from minimum value to what? Maximum value. How much total work done in charging a capacitor? That work done is going to store in a capacitor in the form of what? Electrostatic potential energy. Now, the capacitor plates again charge kodbe kadre. You know very well plates of a capacitor are going to store the charges. When you are giving charges to the plates of a capacitor to give those charges you how to do the work in the direction opposite to the conservative force. That force will call it as electrostatic force. How much is the work done in giving or storing charges in a plates of a capacitor that total amount of work done will call it as a energy stored in capacitor. How you are charging any capacitor? How you are going to charge a capacitor? Capacitor basically consisting of what? Two conducting plates. This is one plate and this is another plate, two conducting plates. And these two conducting plates are connected across source. This source will call it as a battery. 
so this battery is giving necessary potential difference for charging a capacitor this is called charging battery okay that charging battery is responsible for what charging of capacitor when the battery is connected across the plates of a capacitor when the battery is connected across the plates of a capacitor definitely what happens plates of a capacitor will start so storing the charges so the complete process of charging is from q is equals to 0 to what q is equals to capital q means in a step capacitor plates are going to store more and more number of charges from minimum value to what some maximum value how much is the total work done when the capacitor store a charge from minimum value to what maximum value that total amount of work done will call it as a energy stored in capacitor in the first step let me write the definition for energy stored in capacitor what is the energy stored in capacitor total work done total work done total work done in charging a capacitor in charging a capacitor capacitor is called what energy stored energy stored in capacitor means this total amount of work done is equivalent to what energy stored in capacitor therefore mathematically i can write the energy stored in capacitor u should be equals to w what is w here w is a total amount of work done in charging a capacitor from minimum value q is equals to 0 to maximum value q is equals to what capital q so in the next step you have to calculate this amount of work done when the capacitor stores a charge from minimum value to what maximum value if you able to calculate this work done this work done is equivalent to what energy stored in capacitor so let me calculate the total amount of work done in charging a capacitor from minimum value to what maximum value so before calculating the total work done let me take some intermediate work done it's a technique it is it's a technique used in what uh, physics directly we are not going for what total work done initially we will take some intermediate work done what is intermediate work done let us imagine dq is a dq is a small amount of charge stored by capacitor at potential v at some potential v capacitor plates are going to store a charge dq that is dq is a charge at the plates of a capacitor at potential v for that dw is a amount of work done concentrate here what is dw dw is a intermediate work done when the capacitor is going to store small quantity of charge dq at potential v then how you are going to write here this dw can be written as dw is a small work done dw is a small work done when the capacitor is going to store which charge dq charge at what potential at potential v therefore that dw can be written as dq into v I guess you know very well in what electrostatics the work done is a product of charge and potential difference the work done we discussed the work done in electrostatics is given by w is equals to what qe dw is a small amount of work done when the capacitor is going to store a charge of dq at potential v 
Further, let me take definition of what capacitance. According to the definition of capacitance, capacitance of a capacitor is given by what is the capacitance of a capacitor? Charge stored by the capacitor divided by what? The potential of a capacitor. Or else, potential V can be written as what? Q by C. Potential V can be written as Q by C. So, V is equal to Q by C. I will substitute in this equation. Tell me the step now. DW is equal to DQ as it is. DQ as it is. V can be written as what? Q by C. This is Q by C it is. Or else DW. DW is equal to what I can write? 1 by C into Q DQ. So this is DW by V. As I said you, DW is a small amount of work done when the capacitor is going to store a charge of what? DQ. But as for definition, we have to calculate the total work done in charging a capacitor. Total work done in charging a capacitor is called energy stored in the capacitor. So, this is intermediate work done. Then how we are calculating the total work done? Total work done when the capacitor stores a charge, minimum charge 0 to maximum charge capital Q is calculated by integrating this equation between the limits 0 to Q. Okay. Next step. Integrate this equation between the limits 0 to capital Q. DW is equals to integration from 0 to Q Q dQ. What it means? LHS in LHS integration means total. DW means work done. Integration from 0 to Q DW is nothing but total work done in charging a capacitor from minimum value 0 to maximum value Q. According to the definition, this total work done is called energy stored in capacitor and that energy stored in capacitor is denoted by symbol u this total work done i will call it as a u it is u that is called energy stored in capacitor next is sorry this is a 1 by c q dq next step 1 by c as it is integration of q dq what is the integration of Q dQ? It is Q square by 2. Integration of Q dQ is Q square divided by 2. Lower limit is 0. Upper limit is capital Q. Lower limit is 0. Upper limit is what? Capital Q. Then next is U is equal to I will take 2 outside. 1 by 2 C. In the place of Q upper limit. That is Q square minus in the place of Q lower limit. That is 0 square. And applying the limits here. In the place of Q upper limit and in the place of Q lower limit. So I left with U is equal to what? It is given by Q square by 2C. Q square by 2C is an expression for energy stored in capacitor. Further, I can simplify this expression by substituting the value of what? Q. Concentrate here. C is equal to Q by V. Then what is Q? Q is equal to what? CV. Therefore, in the place of Q, I can write Q is equal to CV. In the place of Q, I can substitute Q is equal to CV. Substitute there. U is equal to Q. Cv, Q square, C square, V square divided by what? 2C. Okay. One term of C gets cancelled with what? 
C here. I left with what? Cv square by 2. Cv square by 2 or else in a general I can write U is equals to what? Half Cv square. Which is an expression for what? Energy stored in capacitor. So this is one of the very important derivation as per examination is concerned. Okay.